Hi guys! I've got this photo that I had taken quite a while ago and printed out and had sitting on my desk and I've decided instead of putting it into my pocket page notebook I'm going to add it to my clear traveler's notebook album today. This is a photo of all of my inks, far too many inks. Uh, I had decided to do some swatching and as I pulled them out um, there, there was just drawer after drawer after uh, drawer after inks um, and it was way too many for any one person. Once I added them up, 127. Um, so that definitely needed documenting and to do that I am going to use the brand new scrapbook kit from Citrus Twist. So. I'll leave a link up here to my unboxing so you can have a closer look at it because this is going to go quite fast. It's a stunning kit so I was very excited to play with it. Tons of whimsical stuff in here which was perfect for documenting this sort of photo. I'm just picking out a paper to go on the right hand side of this spread and I liked those last two, the two sort of stripes but in the end um, I kind of like the colours of the diagonal stripe better, but I liked the horizontal stripe better with the photo. I think because the photo is so busy, I didn't want to add too much busyness on the other side. And although that sounds counterintuitive, the larger horizontal stripe seemed more suited to this photo. So I've trimmed that out just to match my photo and I'm punching my holes. The piece of paper you saw at the start there is a template that I made just out of some scrap paper so that I always am getting the same sized photos and papers in this little mini album and that I know where to punch the holes so that they're always in the same place. It makes it much, much easier. Now I've also got the embellishment kit out because obviously it goes with this theme and I love the copper foiling on these thicker pieces so I'm going to create my title out of that and it's going to be create and play. I loved those two pieces and that ampersand was lovely so I'm just using the packaging to just place those um, in a nice way and then I can see how they're going to fit on my actual page. And although it seems counterintuitive, I am going to put my title over top of this busy photo. So what I'm going to end up doing is creating um, a bit of a hide and seek on this page. It's already busy, so the temptation is to just leave it as is and put all the embellishment onto the other page. But actually, I'm going to go with the theory that this is busy, I want to make it busier, and then I'm just going to add something simple onto the right hand side. So I'm going to work on that right hand side now and I'm going to use some of these die cut pieces. That circle has the same color foiling on it and I thought it would be a great spot to put a little bit of journaling. So I'm just going through all these little pieces to see if I can um, add a couple more to make it just a little cluster. And like I said, this kit, um, well, the whimsical line in general is perfect with this sort of documenting, documenting um, my own hobby, our own hobby, all of this craftiness. These are just the perfect things for that. So I'm gluing down my journaling spot there and I've got a little banner that says let's get creative and then these gorgeous little scissors which you'll see match my own scissors quite nicely. I was rather pleased about that and I'm just going to kind of um, overlap those up the top so I'm not really gluing the banner down I've just placed it down really carefully and then I'm going to use just my glue pen for these scissors they are quite delicate and I'm sort of placing them half behind and half in front of that banner before I stick everything down now I love, I love these tiny little alphas in the kit this month from Pink Fresh, but there are no numbers on them and I definitely needed some numbers to document all of these inks. So I grabbed out the alpha from the Pocket Life kit and it coordinates perfectly. So that worked out nicely. So I am putting down 127 and then I will do my journaling underneath there just with pen. Obviously I often prefer a type writer um, but I'd already stuck everything down so I just went with um, just went with my own handwriting and um, I ended my journaling with time to get and I wanted the word crafty and I felt sure that I had seen the word crafty in all of these bits and pieces somewhere but I couldn't find one I think I must have been dreaming that maybe I was hoping for it 
So instead I am going to pull out these little alphas and just spell that out myself. Decided to go with these navy blue ones. There are quite a few dark areas on that photo and this will just help balance, um, balance that out just a little bit and bring some of those colours and there are a lot of colours on the left but bring some of them over to the right hand side as well. These elvis are so tiny, I probably should have gone and found some tweezers to use, but I seem to have misplaced mine. I need to have a decent look for them, but it's not quite straight, not quite perfect, but um, that sort of just goes with <laughs> my crafting style, I guess. Now, these rub-ons came in the embellishment kit as well, and I'm not like a massive fan of rub-ons. I don't use them a lot, so I decided I would just go crazy and use as many as I can. So here's where the hide and seek portion of this page comes in. I am cutting out um, these rub-ons and I'm going to use some of the thickers and some puffy stickers, uh, just anything I can really. But I'm placing them um, as tone on tone as I can get on this photo so that you can't really see that they're there. But if you take a closer look at the photo, you can find all these little hidden details. And I really love how it turned out. I almost think I probably could have gone a little bit more. I um, didn't want to go too crazy, so I'm just adding them all over the page. I'm ignoring my own role of groups of three really on this. Um, I am I am aiming for little clusters, so I'm not using every color. Um, and I've done a little bit of pink, a little bit of orange. I was trying to get sort of one of all the colors. And then to tie the two pages in together a little bit more, I'm going to add some up the top to this cluster as well. So I've done my rub-ons and now I'm just going through my thickers. And I was kind of aiming to like use little smaller pieces um, and those thickers are mostly a little bit larger than what I was after. One of them I did peel off the sticker, um, so I had to glue that down. And then I'm adding a few of the little enamel shapes, which I really love. Um, I've actually grabbed some of my own, so they're on my way from scrapbook.com because I know I'm gonna use these up super quick. And then last, these puffy stickers, which uh, I, they were perfect. That one down the bottom says all the colors and fun times I've added as well. And then I'm adding a few of the teeny tiny little hearts all around the place. And then I'm gonna call it done. This was such a simple page to put together and I love all that sort of hidden detail over on the, the left hand side there. So I encourage you, if you've got a busy photo, don't try to hide it, just go with it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching, there's a couple more videos on screen. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Bye guys!